My name is Gary Chu. I'm an Associate Professor of Exercise and Health Sciences at Northumbria University. And I was one of the investigators on the study that we're discussing here, which is a feasibility trial of supervised exercise training as an adjunct therapy for people with venous leg ulcers. We did this study because there was good reason to believe that exercise training could benefit people with this condition in terms of reducing their ulcer healing time and improving fitness and quality of life. But there had been limited research done on this topic. We didn't know how well we could recruit people with this condition to a study about exercise training or how acceptable the exercise programme would be to participants. Therefore, before embarking on a large multi-centre trial, we sought to address some of these areas of uncertainty in a small-scale feasibility study. So we identified people with active venous leg ulcers from outpatient and community leg ulcer clinics, as well as from local newspaper advertisement. We invited them to take part, and we recruited a total of 39 individuals to the study. We measured various aspects of their health, fitness and quality of life before randomly allocating them to receive either usual care only, which included lower limb compression therapy, or usual care plus a 12-week supervised exercise programme. The people in the exercise group were invited to attend three sessions per week over a 12-week period, and each session included around an hour of aerobic strengthening and flexibility exercises for the legs. All participants were followed up for 12 months and during this period we did repeat assessments of fitness and quality of life as well as documenting details about ulcer healing and participant use of healthcare resources. What we showed was that the majority of people who were allocated to the exercise group we were able to complete the exercise training as planned and there was an overall session attendance rate of 79%. Aspects of physical fitness and quality of life were higher in the exercise group compared to the control group at 3 and 12 months. The median ulcer healing time was also shorter in the exercise group being 13 weeks compared with 35 weeks in the control group and there were no serious exercise-related adverse events. So in summary, our findings suggest that supervised exercise training is an acceptable and potentially beneficial adjunct therapy for people with venous leg ulcers. I say potentially beneficial because the sample size was relatively small, and the plan now is to establish the clinical and cost-effectiveness of this approach through conducting a large multi-centre trial.